Hey, what's up guys? Tuki here back again, this time with something a little bit different. If you've been watching live on Twitch, which if you haven't, what's the matter with you? Link is in the description, and remember, you don't need to make an account. You can still hang out, you can still lurk, you only really need an account if you want to chat. But still, point being, if you've been watching live on Twitch, you would know that I have been playing Super Mega Baseball. We've had a lot of fun playing that game on stream. And I wanted to post this video up because this is the Championship Series. Yes, we made it to the finals after a 16 game season and I wanted to post this video up on YouTube in full in case people who were watching live on Twitch didn't get to see uh, this specific series play out. So I hope you guys enjoy. Again, links as always in the description, Twitch, Twitter and all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys soon as I just smashed my damn finger on the desk that hurts like a son of a bitch. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you next time. Yeah, I'm gonna jump right into this. Let's do this. Championship game, championship series. A best of three. A best of three. You know what we're gonna do, too? We're gonna change up the lineup a little bit. And yeah, we'll go with something like that. That's looking alright. That is looking alright. I am going to. Butcher your name. Is it Retatcher? Hopefully it is. Hopefully I didn't completely butcher that. But what's happening? <laughs> Gravity 2, what's up, man? Alright, let's do this. The championship series begins again. If Nightbot decides to work, I will let you guys know. Slap Boss, what's up, man? If Nightbot decides to work, I will let you know. But yeah, for the moment, it is down. Or maybe not even down, say what you will. It's not working. But we are going up against the Overdogs in the championship game. Let's see what happens. Kasha, man, that's a hell of a name. Kasha Emin. 385 average, but man, we got we got the man himself, Slip Vanderwink, our ace on the mound. We should be fine. We should be fine. Ready? Dive for it, and that's a great start. That's a good start for us. Oh, action! I love the name. I didn't think I had to dive for that. I wanted to play it safe, and it worked out. Uh, start him off the outside fastball, maybe a little bit risky. All right with that. Power cutter. All right, he's not going to chase. Go for the screwball. Pump, you're killing me. Uh, four seamer up high. Wow, he actually swung. And Betty just missed. Who swings on a 3-0 count? Damn it! Why couldn't he have had more patience? Rhonda Horn, 385, home run, 3 RBIs, great. Taylor, guns him out, terrible throw, but it worked. Terrible throw, but it worked. Beautiful. Just like that. And two outs, and this should be number three. Slip so down with a throw, got her. That is a great start for one slip Vanderwink here in game one. William Mays Hayes didn't have a single hit in that first series. We swept our opponents two games to none, but still, it's no hits for him. Hold off on that too. I'm um, killing him. 3 1 count. We're patient early. And will it pay off? Did we get under that a little bit too much? Back to the warning. Track off the wall. Wow, how did they not catch it? How did they not catch that? The leadoff double for Willie Mays Hayes. I can't believe that. That is ridiculous. That brings up Dorn. 714 average in round one. An absolute beast. How was the first pitch a strike, by the way? Oh, you killing me? That's that first strike. Great. Dorn strikes out, damn it, cut her off the plate. That's a missed opportunity. Brings up Serrano, though. I should have, I should have swung at the first pitch. I didn't want to, but I should have, and then that was a huge mistake. All right, now let me get back into this. Oh, you're killing me. Oh my God. 
Lead off double, and we're potentially just pissing this opportunity away. How is that a strike, Ump? You're killing me. You're killing me. Mickey, we need you here. Come on. 3 1 count. Can we get the walk? That was a check swing attempt. No. Thank God. All right, we we got the walk anyway. We got the walk anyway. Betty, 375 average. A lot of waste pitches from this guy. Swung a little bit too late at that too. Damn it. Um, how? How is the shins? Swung a little bit too early, but I'll take it. I guess. Holy shit. Well, we're staying alive, so that's good. And there's the pop-up. Lead-off double for William Mays Hayes, and we wasted it. We wasted it. Great. Anton Goodwood, 182 average, but he has a homer and three RBIs, so he literally must have, or must have had just a three-run shot in the first round. That's his only hit. And it will remain that way. Good start. A good start. Marsha Brown. Marsha Brown. Let's start you off with the old curveball. With the old screwball. Taylor, can you get there? No, we can't. Can we get her to chase? Yes, we can, but Tanak is not going to get there. Damn it. Four seamer. Alright, I'll take that. We got it. We got it for our second out. Taylor with the catch. All right. Still can't believe we wasted that first chance. Rafael Gonzalo. All right. Great start. High cutter. I'll take that, all things considered. Let's go for the fork ball. Got him. Slip Vanderlink through two innings is looking pretty damn good. That brings up the six, seven, eight hitters who have struggled to say the least in the postseason so far. Taylor somehow missed that. Hold off on that. I'm not that terrible game. Come on, give me some credit. As I swing at that pitch in the dirt. That's fine. Don't worry. As we line out second. All right. Filet Jones, we need you. No hits. Until now, first pitch swinging, I'll take it. I'll take it. I also, uh, I wish Nightbot was working, but it's alright. Tanaka, what can you do? You can swing and miss on that first pitch, that's what you can do. Give me something I can do some damage with. He did, and we wasted that as well. And let's just bring Filet Jones back to first because he's gonna get that. No, wow, he didn't. Okay. Come on. Two all count. Two, two. Three, two. That's a walk. Yes. Damn. All right. <sighs> the, patience is, the patience is paying off so far. One out. We gotta just go for it with Vanderwink. We have to. I'd love to bunt Filet Jones uh, towards third. Get two runners in scoring position, but we can't afford to hold off here. And Vanderwink does have power. That, that wasn't a strike. Oh, come on. Slip. Avoids the double play, at least, thankfully. <laughs> and it brings up Hayes again. That was a check swing. No. Surprised that wasn't a strike, Ump, you and your consistency. Damn it. One, two count. Barely held off on that one. We need a run here, and we need it early. We need a run, and we need it early. And there's the strikeout with Hayes. Oh, well, through two innings so far, we've only stranded three runners. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Robin, you sick beard. Oh, you know, I'm going to have to put you down here. It's Slip Vanderwink. You don't stand a chance. Three pitches, three strikes, and Vanderwink has it going. But we can't afford to waste it. We can't afford to waste this effort. It's early. It is game one. 
but, you know, not exactly wanting to waste any opportunities here. See if we can get the fork ball on the outside, right to Mickey. Right to Mickey, there we go. There we go. Hyped for NHL 18. <laughs> oh, buddy, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. Trust me. I mean, so far so good with Super Mega Baseball tonight, right? And I'm sure it'll be a fun stream tonight. But to say I'd much rather be playing NHL 18 would be an understatement. It would be an understatement. First pitch swing of a door and lead off single. Not bad. Not too shabby. Yeah, I would. I'm, I mean, I'm hyped for FIFA. But it's not like I'm not hyped for NHL. I'm hyped for both teams. But yeah, I mean, of course, NHL looks good. I can't wait. Holy shit, he's going right after me, isn't he? Serrano? No double play, no double play. Serrano? Serrano? Thank God, okay. Whew, that was close. Mickey? Wow, they already took out their starting pitcher. Are you kidding me? Bringing in David Diggler. I mean, his mojo was rock bottom, but bottom of the third. And their starting pitcher's gone, and Mickey with the one out single in the left field. Frogger, congrats on getting Madden, buddy. Betty Sparks. Betty, what can we do? Hold off on that, even though it's a strike. Definitely hold off on that. Not too high. Whew. Betty? Oh, that's gone. That is gone. That has to be gone. Betty Sparks the three run shot. My only regret is that Nightbot and the Auto DJ isn't working tonight, but Betty Sparks with the three run shot. Third time is the charm. Don't quite understand why they took out their starting pitcher, but clearly I'm not against it at this stage. Betty Sparks, what a hit. Three run shot, the sirloins have the lead early, which is what I wanted with Slip Vanderwink on the mound. Filet, can he get it out of the infield? No, he cannot, and that'll do it. But through three innings, we have that three run, three nothing. It almost said three to one, giving them a little bit too much credit. And unfortunately, guys, I just checked with the Nightbot and the Auto DJ again. It's not going to work, at least at the moment, which really sucks. But you know what? It is what it is. Now you get to enjoy uh, the sultry tones of my voice and the game audio instead. Which, hey. It is what it is. I don't have a backup option when it comes to uh, getting the music going, to be honest. So, it's auto DJ or bust, and the auto DJ just doesn't feel like working tonight. At least Mickey got that out. That was a little bit close. That was a little bit close. Rhonda Horn. A little bit anxious about... Uh, Leaving something over the plate that she could actually hit. But she is also not chasing at all. 2-1 count. Screwball. Right. You know what? We're going to go for the curve. We'll go for that curveball. Oh, Filet. Can he get there? Yes, he can. We get the runner at third. And yes, we can hold the runner to second. Two. Beautiful. Pyrobot should be the backup. Pyro. What the hell that is? He said something in the Discord, but honestly, I, uh, I wouldn't quite know how to get that going at the moment. And to be honest, I don't want to get it going because Nightbot should be working and the Auto DJ should be working. But it isn't. Please be foul. Thank you. Come on. Need that third out here. Four call. Got it. Slip. Vanderbilt. You monster. You absolute monster. We are still. On uh, 70 Ego, as I promised that we would be. And it's working out well for us so far. Oh, Tanaka. Tanaka. Sucks. He's just the worst. <laughs> Come on. Right, flip. I tried to check something again that doesn't react as often as it should. That's going to be a fly out to right center. 
don't know baseball all that well. Well, you don't really have to know baseball all that well to understand if I'm doing well or not, which, uh, yeah, not so much, at least for that inning. That's okay. We still have that 3 nothing lead. That is the only thing uh, that matters at the moment. As long as we have that lead, I am happy. Betty with the throw. Got him. Just a confused Swede. Well, have no fear. The NHL content will be back soon. That is for sure. I mean, this week I'll be wrapping up. I mean, NHL in general. I mean, we finished up Ultimate Team a few weeks ago. You know, giving away everything that we had left. Franchise mode. Ended both of my ongoing series at the moment. We'll be doing the kind of Hall of Fame idea with that. I mean... NHL 18, I mean, it's as soon as the end of this week, which, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, I'm excited for NHL 18, <laughs> that's all I can say, I don't know, well, it isn't all I can say, but, ah, I don't know, I don't like being vague, I don't like being vague, but, let's just say if certain things had gone differently, uh, I wouldn't have to have been excited to play NHL 18. Because uh, I might have already got my hands on it already. Roger Dorn, I believe, is another base hit. Yeah, great. Oh, sh I didn't even notice that that got back to the wall. I didn't notice. I, I looked at the chat. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Serrano's going to drive him home anyway. I believe in Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so close to being a double play. Mickey. Wow, that was not where I thought that pitch was going to go. Hold off on that. That was a check swing. And that was a strikeout. Yikes. Yikes. That's all I can say. That was brutal. That's a strike. Yeah. Right, Betty, come on. I believe in you, Betty. Three-run shot last time up. So what can she do here? Three-one count. Gotta hold off on that. Oh, ump, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. The, the pitch to get it to the three-two count, sure. But that pitch, that was off the plate. Let's be honest here, please. Give me a break. It's a fork ball. Can't get her to swing. Screw ball, maybe? Hopefully. Slip, Vanderwink. You. Beautiful. Beautiful bastard. <laughs> he's, he's still the ace for a reason. He's been the ace all season long, despite some ridiculous pitching performances from everybody. By everybody, I mean our three starters. But he is still the ace for the reason. For the reason, for a reason. For many reasons. For numerous reasons. Oh, Willie, I believe in you. Thank you very much. And through six, Slip Vanderwick is shutting them down. They're already, man, the third pitcher's in. Rocket Ramon, hell of a name. Oh, God, he's a submarine pitcher. Okay, we're going to have trouble. We're going to have a bit of trouble here. I struggle so much against submarine pitchers. That's a fly out to center. Yikes. Filet Jones. Ah, that didn't get more than that. Oh, it didn't dip as much as I thought it was going to. English. It's difficult. Let me tell you. That. God, that was bad. That's unfortunate to hit that guy right in the face. He's not wearing a shirt for some reason. Get out of here. Absolute weirdo. God damn. Hey, there we go. God damn base hit. I am shocked. To get a base hit off of somebody with that pitching style is a rarity for me. Damn. 
not going overhand. So mutant. And that'll be it for Slip. No, okay, we still got a chance. I'm not swinging at that. You beard. And he strikes me out. Well, shit. It's okay, though. Top of the seventh, we're up 3 0. Game one is going by fairly quickly. Mickey, jump! That's that's not good. That's not good. Leave it to just a double, please. Don't you dare go to third. Okay, good. Good. Rhonda Horn. Anticipated that. Gets the runner back to second double. Good. Damn. Gonna check freaking Nightbot again, man. Any auto DJ work, damn it. Work. I believe in you. That's that's not great. Go to the cutoff. Alright, runners at the corners with one out. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! No! Not this way. Not this way. Well. The run is going to score, unfortunately. So the overdogs are on the board. What the fuck is this game? Uh, this would be the best baseball game on the Xbox One at this point in time, which, I mean, say what you will about that being the fact, but it is fact. Unfortunately, due to not having a PS4, you, you know, you have slim options. For baseball games, and now that NHL has kind of died down a little bit, but you got to be kidding me if they made the catch. You know, in between, you know, NHL 17 dying out and the launch of NHL 18, we needed something else to play. Baseball is a popular opinion. And thus, Super Mega Baseball is a thing. Although, God damn it, am I struggling right now against this pitcher? Why is whoa, why the hell was he swinging? I didn't even hit the button. What the hell was that? Full count, at least. That's good. And we're gonna ground out two second. Yikes. Favorite franchise mode, Angel 17. God, man. There weren't too many series that I was like the only series I was really disappointed in was the Sweden Nation United. But even then, I mean, I was only disappointed in it because, you know, we didn't end up getting the players we needed out of the draft. But that still made for an interesting series where we just kept trying different players, different strategies, and nothing worked. So, I mean, I'm, I'm having to choose between a lot of, uh, you know, series that I really enjoyed doing this year. I mean... I can sit here and name all of them, of course. QC series was a lot of fun. Rebuilding Hockey Town was a lot of fun. The first Fantasy Draft series was a lot of fun. But I feel like the consensus pick among my viewers for what series was their favorite is probably in line with what my favorite series was this year. And that would be Draft of Glory. Mickey. Oh my god. Mickey Steele. First pitch swinging. Unfortunately, with the auto DJ not working, we can't celebrate in true style. In true style, even. But still, what a shot from Mickey. Contact swing, no less. And we get that three run lead back. Main reason you get a PS4 is for ML for MLB the show. I had to think there are a lot of games. Jesus Christ, man, I struggled so badly. Um, you know, with a you know, with the PS4, I mean you know, some other stuff I wanted to play. I wanna play The Last of Us, wanna play, you know, love the I mean I haven't got to play like any of the Uncharted series. But yeah, MLB the show would be up there for me. But anyway, uh, back to the question of what my favorite series would be. Draft of Glory is I mean it's it's there. Jesus Filet, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm terrible. I was waiting for that curveball, and we still couldn't take advantage of it. But yeah, Draft of Glory is up there just because it was such a spur-of-the-moment series where I just kind of thought to myself, you know what, I need to see if people would actually enjoy this, and it's the top of the ninth, which can only mean one thing. Vaughn is in. Again, the auto DJ isn't up. We can't celebrate in style, but that is okay. Top of the ninth, 
three-run uh, three lead, 4-1 on the board. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, yeah, Draft of Glory was just so spur of the moment. I thought it would make for a good series, and I'm very glad people agreed. And a lot of people have told me, too, that's like, oh, that was like the first series of yours that I watched. So it's like, oh, I guess it was successful, wasn't it? So that that's sweet. My God, that fastball. 86 mile an hour fork ball, huh? Whew. The Dorn. Out number two. Be fun to see me do franchise mode Madden. Uh, which I probably will. I poked around uh, with franchise mode the other night. By that right, I mean Saturday. We played it for a little bit. Just so I could try to figure out what the hell I was doing. So, man, I am having trouble hitting the strike zone here. His... His accuracy is a bit garbage. That's what happens when you have a 102 mile an hour fastball. But yeah, I poked around on franchise mode a little bit. I enjoyed what I saw. And I will probably, I don't know if I'll do like a full kind of YouTube series, but I think I'll probably be playing franchise mode uh, on stream up until NHL 18 comes out and the Sirloins win game one. Just like that, that went quickly. Holy shit, game one in the books. 4-1 lead series. 4-1 uh, lead in this World Series. A 1-0 lead in the series in general. English, again, it's tough. But, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe expect some franchise mode med. Maybe even tonight. I'm not sure. I mean, you know, the next couple of days, streaming-wise, it's just going to be playing whatever. Still playing a decent bit of Madden. But, you know, basically just kind of chilling until... NHL 19, 19, until NHL 19 comes out, until NHL 18 comes out. When's the last time I played GTA? Pfft, a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. I mean, we went from playing NHL and then GTA and UFC every night to NH, uh, you know, occasionally NHL, Madden, and that, it's it's mainly been Madden. So <laughs> it has mainly been Madden. But yeah, it's 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 been a while, and it will probably continue to be a while with NHL 18 coming out very, very soon. There you go, Vanderwink, Mickey, and Betty, your three stars of the game. Yeah, now we are one win away from uh, winning the World Series or whatever the hell you want to call it in this game. Up the Arnold Palmer swig count, by the way. Absolutely delicious. Uh, did I ever end up doing free roam? I didn't. I did not. Part of me wants to. Part of me wants to, especially if I can play with viewers that, uh, you know, actually have access to some of the more fun vehicles and stuff like that in the game. Because otherwise, it, free roam is just getting shit on by people who have spent hundreds of dollars in the game. So, <laughs> at least that's what happened the last time I played free roam on GTA. It was just, hey, sit here and let other people have fun, which isn't a whole lot of fun for uh, for me. <laughs> when it's like, oh, I have an assault rifle, and this person's gunning you down with just relentless amounts of RPGs. You know, stuff like that. Anyway. Anyway. It's time for game two. It is time for game two. Bugsy Snugs is on the mound. The trophy's in the building against Larry LaJoy. We are one win away from being crowned champions. And again, I hate freaking underhand style. And I hate that that guy is the guy, the type of guy. I hate that that guy has a bit of a glove. Roger Dorn. Didn't hold off on that. Somehow that's a strike. And all right, Peltenberg, what's up, buddy? He's got a magnetic glove. That could create some issues. Yep. Yep. All, all three, all three hit it right back to the pitcher. Holy hell. Well, let's hope that Bugsy Snug has a slip the Vanderwink esque performance. We'll start off with a grounder to Dorn for out number one. Again, let's hope that Bugsy can have a repeat performance of what slipped it in game one, and we can sweep the series 
claim that trophy. And we'll probably switch to some Madden for a bit. But not that I'm in a rush to end our super mega journey. It's been a lot of fun. I'm glad I started playing it on stream. But also, I don't want this going three games. I don't want drama. I want wins. Much like in game one. Not too much drama behind it. As Taylor drops that ball. Wow. Okay. Well, you better hope we still get this guy out, Taylor. Or, yeah. You're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Alright, good. He didn't swing. Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully. I have no idea why he dropped that. He didn't even try to catch it, but you know what? I'll take it. It's fine. We still got the two outs. Fork ball for strike two, and let's go for the big power curve. Dorn. Oh, we dove too early. We dove too early. The two out single. For arguably the best player. Jeez, that guy. Like, what the hell? Like, you're smuggling hams back there? Jesus Christ. Like, he has a disease. Like, look at his legs, but then, like, the rest of them. What the fuck, buddy? That's scoliosis to an extreme level. But what he doesn't have is a base hit. We are out of the end. Alright, four, five, six. Leading off here. Mickey, I swung a little bit late, and it's not going to carry enough anyway. That's going to get caught, isn't it? Wow, it was gone. Just didn't curl over enough. Somehow that's a strike. And we're at least able to file that one off. Hold off on that one. Come on, Mickey, we got this. Nope, Mickey, we don't got this. We don't got this, Mickey. We don't. But hopefully Betty has it. Hopefully Betty has it. There we go, finally. <laughs> Took me a little bit longer than I would have hoped. But Betty Sparks with the base hit. Jake Taylor. How was that off? 99 power. Someone once told me, what did they tell you? That the grass was once greener on the other side? And will that get through? It won't. Yeah, well, it won't, but that's okay. I'll hold the runner at first. We have runners at the corners for Filet Jones with one out. Filet, make the most of this. That did not go where I thought it was going to go. That went where I thought it would go, though. The RBI single with Filet Jones. Sir Lens have the lead. We should have upped difficulty even more, apparently. What the hell? We dominated the regular season. We upped the difficulty up. You know, we, up, we upped the difficulty up. We upped the difficulty by a little bit more for the playoffs. Jesus Christ, his glove is magnetic. At least we ended up with the one run. His glove is magnetic, though. That's that's gonna be a problem. Can we check his glove? If you, if you can bust Sammy Sosa for a corked bat, can we check him for a magnetic glove? Maybe check the ball too. That's a ridiculous. Another strikeout, though. Four Bugsy Snugs. We got a long way to go, though. That's bad. Wow, can't believe he didn't hit that. We missed that terribly. Bugsy, strike two. Let's go for the inside change up. Yikes. He's got there, though. Any genius ideas for new GM modes? Oh, God. I mean, I have some ideas. I mean, like I said, Draft of Glory will return with a different format. Nation United will return with a different country as the main option. And then I have some other ideas I'm kind of, you know, thinking of. Nothing I've committed to yet. I mean, it's tough because there is only, and I know that the ump sounds like Batman and it's hilarious. Oh, just snugs a leading off here. And he gets a leadoff single, my god. It is tough because 
there's only so much you can do in franchise mode, so it is tough to think of kind of Jesus if that wasn't a change up. Thinking of, you know, new, unique kind of twists on franchise mode is a little bit difficult at times. My god, that change up is killing me. <laughs> the change up is killing me. Well, yeah, like I mentioned, I have some other ideas that I've been thinking about. I'm not sure what I want to start NHL 18 off with, because again, you have all the new expansion options, but that's what everybody's going to want to do for the most part, so I don't know if I'm going to, you know, do all the expansion options at first. Serrano, oh my god, to the wall. Can he get back to second? Yes, he can. Serrano clears the bases. And it's 3-0 to the Sirloins already. Hold off on that, even though that could have been a pretty good hit for Mickey. That should have been better. That is uh, not better. Send him back. All right, well, we at least kept the runner second. Thinking more Scooby-Doo. Yeah, fair point. I can see that too. That or Batman. Let's see. Two common. Jesus, it's magnetic, I'm telling you. Uh, if you weren't allowed to pick Horde. Yeah, that's probably going to be uh, a thing. <laughs> Just no trading for draft picks. Well, not a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of Draft of Glory style, though, really. I think that's why Draft of Glory was fun. Because up until Nolan Patrick retired, where everyone was like, hey, just see if you can win the cup one more time. It was no trading for players, no trading for picks. Can Dorn make this play? So close. So close. I mean, with... Oh my god, that's their pitcher too. Filet. Thank you. You have certain opt... Oh my god, that's embarrassing. I meant to throw to the cutoff, man. It didn't go to the cutoff, man. It went past them to first. Because I hit the wrong button. Not because the cutoff man missed. I just thought I hit the wrong button. Betty! That's unfortunate. And he missed it. Yep, that's going to be a run. Wow. Well, that's embarrassing. Wow. Okay, so we make that mistake. And then the very next hit goes past Willie Mays Hayes. And the overdogs are on the board. Impeccable fielding. I don't even blame Bugsy Snugs. That's just impeccable feeling. Oh my god. Now, now I... Jesus, we're falling apart. Two errors on that play as Bugsy misses the ball and then Tanaka can't pick it up. We are trying to make this interesting, apparently. Yep, we're trying to make it interesting, all right. The overdogs aren't done yet, are they? What a disastrous inning, fielding-wise. This game's tied. This game is tied. A throwing mistake, fielding mistakes, and then just it all fell apart for us. Incredible. Ap wow, why the fuck would it have said, like, oh, you start way up there for the screwball? What an awful job this inning. Unbelievable. 3 0 lead. He is gone, mainly due to Bugsy and Tanaka. Foley Jones, that's off the wall. And it is a four-run inning. And they're safe. A four-run inning for the Overdogs. Well, here I am talking about, oh, it's too easy, apparently. We're down four to nothing. Bugsy picked a good time to have his worst outing of the year. A four-run inning. And we are now down four to three. Right. That's right. Oh my god. Hold off on that one at least. Come on, Taylor. God, there was some heat on that one. And it curved off the plate. Great. Oh, Filet Jones, what can you do? Oh my god, it's, it's just me, or is he pitching about 20 miles an hour faster? <laughs> just because his team has a lead now. Oh my god. Tanaka, again, it's a cutter. Just goes off the plate. 
check swing. It's a strike anyway. Thankfully that one wasn't. Enough on that. Come on. All right. Well, that was disastrous. This game's taking forever. What the hell are you talking about? We breezed through game one in like ten minutes. A's make the catch, please. We don't need any more fielding errors. I mean, really, we don't. Okay, to a Fallout 9 playthrough. Uh, I'm not going to do a Fallout 1, 2, 3, or 4 playthrough. Just not my style of game. I don't know why. I tried playing Fallout. Tried Fallout 3. Tried New Vegas. It's just not my thing. And she gets an infield single because Tanaka is the worst. That is the answer as to why. Because Tanaka is the worst. Thankfully, we were able to get that double play. That was pretty damn sweet. All right, Bugsy is leading off, but we are taking him out. No, we're taking him out. Thank you. Let's go with... We haven't seen Willard Wiggins in forever. Let's go with Hayata. Hayata, come on. Hold off on that. What can we do? Hayata fouls it up. There we go. That's not going to make it. Good effort, Hayata, but not happening. Next play through is Diddy Kong Racing. It might be. To be honest, uh, I was hanging out with some friends yesterday. I went to visit a buddy of mine who lives a couple hours away. And there was this kind of like family owned game store kind of deal. It wasn't a GameStop or an EB Games or anything like that. Uh, and they had a bunch of old games, you know, like N64 stuff, GameCube, PlayStation, like, even though it was as far back as Atari stuff. I was looking for Diddy Kong Racing. They didn't have it, unfortunately. Sad day. They did have some decent stuff. If I had a bit more money in my pocket, I might have ended up with uh, with something. I ended up walking out of that store without buying anything somehow. It's dead. Come on, Serrano, we need you here. Serrano at least gets on base. I'm all right with that. Uh, Batman, yeah, I still want to play through Batman. I still do. So we might be, uh, you know, I mean, it shouldn't take two, it should only take a couple of hours to play through that, from my understanding. So I should still be able to do that before NHL comes out. Mickey hits it right back to the pitcher. And we strand two runners. Great. Great. And we are going to go with Harris. Bottom of the fifth. And we're going with the relief pitcher. That doesn't happen too often. Eighty mile an hour two zero. Wow, somehow that was a fair ball. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How was that a fair ball? I'll take it. I needed it. And yes, obviously Amazon has everything, but I could end up with Diddy Kong Racing if I want to. I was just saying, in general, I looked for it yesterday in person when I had the chance. And again, that's another error. I'd love to see just how many errors we have in this game already. I can't imagine. Oh my god. Harris can't make the play. They, their pitcher has a magnetic fucking glove. Please get that. Thank you. We needed that. Oh, we needed that. Whew. Anton Goodwood. We'll see. We will see. Two outs at least. For Harris. Petty. Make the play. Thank you very much. And we are out of it. Still trailing by one after that disaster. Known as the bottom of the third. Betty Sparks. Our leadoff hitter. We need to get their starting pitcher out of the game. And if I... Just a little bit more patience. We might have right there. That time it works, though. That's a weird bounce. Betty isn't the fastest player in the world, but we have to risk it going for the double, and she will get it. The leadoff double for Betty Sparks. That brings up Jake Taylor. And we're going to try to play small ball and move Betty over. And Jake Taylor did it perfectly. A perfect bunt from Taylor. It brings up Filet Jones. All we need is a sacrifice fly here, and that is just as good. Betty Sparks is in. This game is tied up. The leadoff double small ball from there. We are all tied up. 
which is good because Tanaka sucks, case in point. The inning is over. That was right down the middle, like 98 power or whatever the hell it was. What was it? 91. And that's what he did with it. I hate Tanaka. Let's go with this ridiculous changeup. For our first strike, we need you. Eddie Harris, we need you. Help lead us to victory. As it stands, you are the winning pitcher in the championship game. Strike out to start it off. My god, that slider is nasty. How about that screwball? I missed it. Uh-oh. Fooled him at least. Now let's go for the ridiculous curveball again for Eddie Harris. Got him. Got him. Beautiful. Robin, you. Pyro, the thing was about this game store, man, it's like, there were so many games for, like, the original Xbox and the PS2 that I would have bought. It's not even funny. I mean, they had NHL 2005 for the P uh, I think for the PS2. They had some other stuff. I almost walked out with NHL 2000 for PlayStation, like the PS1. I almost walked out with NHL 99 for the N64. <laughs> almost walked out with uh, WWF SmackDown and WWF SmackDown 2 for the PlayStation. Like, I was I was looking at quite a few things. Uh, thank God their starters out. They brought in Diggler again. Harris has some speed. We're going to see if we can bunt him on. That's unfortunate. There you go, Harris. He's got a chance here. He's got a chance. The old man has some wheels. Damn it. Just buy the whole game store. Man, I would. Are you kidding me? I totally would. Eddie Harris almost made it. That game store was pretty damn good. Damn it. That's, that's helpful. Yes, there we go. That's what we needed. An error for them for once. And that brings up Dorn. Come on, Dorn. Jesus, buddy. You better watch it. Ah, it was a check swing. No. That wasn't a check swing. That was just a failure. And <laughs> nice dive, buddy. Two errors for the overdogs. Use that YouTube money. Yeah, that's sweet, sweet YouTube money. I'm just rolling in it. Damn it. Come on, Serana. Come on. Hold off. There we go. Hold off on that too. Diggler, you gotta work for it, buddy. Damn it. That's a strike. Wow. We strike out with Serrano. That brings up Mickey. He's 0 for 3. Damn it. Come on, Mickey. Ump, you're kidding me. And we strike out. With Serrano and Mickey to strand runners. That's that's not great. Lawyer Arnold Palmer and take. Yeah, I probably should. Damn it. Oh, that was a bad situation. Alright, Harris. What do we got here? Oh, Curveball is filthy. That was a strike ump and you know it. Screw you, buddy. Oh, no. There you go, ump. Now you're getting it. Figuring out how to call a strike. Good for you. High inside changeup. Oh, I missed the plate a little bit. Still got her to swing though. a boy Harris brings up Diggler. I want to hit you in the face so badly. I won't. Maybe I should have. <laughs> Mickey, come on. You got this. There we go. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. Harris, I believe in you. We need you. There you go, Dorn. Dorn makes the catch. We are out of that inning quickly to the top of the eighth tie game. Betty Sparks leads off with a 400 average in this postseason. That dipped a bit more than I thought it was going to. That didn't, and we get it past the glove. No magnet in that guy's glove. We're looking good. Brings up Taylor. Do we play small ball again? I don't think we can afford to. Maybe it's a good thing that we didn't. Jake Taylor with the hit off the wall. That will be a double. And we have two runners in scoring positions with no outs here in the eighth. Now, we're not going to bunt yet. We're going to swing for the fences with Jones. They brought in Doug Nerdward, their closer. Come on. 
Come on, Filet. You blew it. You fucking blew it, Filet. You fucking blew it. A pitch right down the fucking middle, and you blew it. <sighs> Tanaka, we, we just got to swing for the outfield here. There you go, Tanaka. There you go. Bring the runners back just in case. Send them. It landed. Send them. It landed. Tanaka gets a base hit. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Come on, we have to. I mean, here's the thing. Even if we could get Nightbot to work, it wouldn't be it wouldn't do justice for what Tanaka did in the movies. But holy shit, Tanaka actually ended up hitting the goddamn ball. And it might be the winner. That brings up Harris. Now we can't exactly bunt, but we can go for the sack fly. That might work. Eddie Harris with an RBI. Harris with an RBI as well. Oh my god, it's six to four. Now Hayes with the runner on third. Why did you bring in your closer, nerd word? He's not a closer. He sucks. So does Hayes. And Filet Jones for that matter. And that'll end the end. But you know what? It's fine. Hayes and Filet Jones have let me down tremendously. But we have a two-run lead restored. In part due to Eddie Harris getting that RBI. And that is a good way to start. Dorn, don't blow it. Thank you very much. One out in the bottom of the eighth. We are five outs away. Five outs away. It may just be four outs away. And it is the Sirlines. Four outs away from a title, a championship, a World Series, call it what you will, it's now three because Tanaka has redeemed himself after the error early on in the third inning which led to that massive four run inning for them. He has come back. He gets what could have been the winning RBI and then makes the play there. We are three out away. Can we get any more insurance here? Dorn with the liner. Are you kidding me? Dorn. That much power. Brings up Serrano. The old hammer long ball -o. Hold off on that one. Be a little bit smarter about this. Be a little bit smarter. A little bit smarter. 3 1 count. Let's go, hammer. Drop the hammer! Lines out to right. Shit. That brings up Mickey. 0 for 4, 200 average in the postseason. He has struggled mightily. Hold off on that one. 1-1. One, one. Hold off. Damn it. Mickey, we need you here. Come on, buddy. And Mickey goes down looking to the bottom of the ninth. To the bottom of the ninth. Shit. Okay. You know, I wasn't I didn't remember what button it was to substitute, so we waste one pitch with Harris. Harris who stands to get the win. But now it's up to the man himself. Ricky Vaughn. He's in. We are three outs away from a championship. Let's do this. High heat to start. The grounder to Betty. We are two outs away. Damn you, Nightbot, for not working. Damn you. Otter DJ is heavily missed right now, but that's okay. First pitch curveball. Strike one to Rafael Gonzalo. It's a field fly. Betty is there. She's got it. She's got it. Also, I just noticed the fielding uh, you know, bonuses are... A waste because whenever they play in the secondary position, they take that loss anyway. But the overdogs are down to their last out. It's all up to Robin Yu. First pitch, swing and a miss. We'll go with the screwball. Be able to lay off. We'll go with the 91 mile an hour slider. It's a fly to right field. Serrano has it. The Sirloins have won. The league championship. Call it the World Series. Call it what you will. Call it the most important trophy in video game history. We avoid disaster. As my 
capture device just starts to shit the bed. What was up with that? It looks to be good now. Holy shit, that was weird. But it's alright. We avoid disaster, we blow a 3-0 uh, three lead, end up uh, down 4-3, and then battle back to get the 6-4 victory. And these sirloins have done it. We have done it. Harris gets the win, four innings pitched, no earned runs. Bugsy Snugs looked human for the first time, and Vaughn, two for two, in save opportunities against the Overdogs. Somehow Ronda Horn, I mean, I guess she did have two RBIs, was the first star. It should have been Harris, but that's okay. That's okay. Damn it. The Sirloins are champions. What a moment. It brings a tear to the eye. Brings a damn tear to the eye, but the Sirloins have done it. Oh my god. We're champions. Now, I don't even know if there are awards at the end of this. <laughs> there might be. I mean, there were earlier. But there you go, Sirloins. Champions. And that is the end of the season. You don't get to do anything else. It's just a straight season. It's not a franchise, of course. Yeah, regular season. You get the stats. I mean, there were the awards. I forget how to look at it. I mean, it was pretty much just look at the league leaders. Like, Serrano won a lot, and actually, if I uh, look at the achievements, that would pretty much tell you how we ended up doing. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, Serrano was the uh, the batting king, the home run king. He won the triple crown. I mean, hell of a season for Pedro Serrano. In the playoffs, though, in the playoffs, Roger Dorn, a 563 average. What a guy, and then Betty Sparks was in uh, third there. Not too bad. Betty also led the postseason in home runs. Not a single shot for the home run king Serrano in the regular season, which is ridiculous. Dorn led non-base percentage sparks in slugging. I mean, it was mainly Dorn and Betty Sparks that got the job done for us. Mickey struck out nine times. <laughs> but Tanaka, who struck out six times, did end up getting the title-winning RBI. Absolutely ridiculous. And then, uh, you know, wins-wise, of course, our four pitchers just dominated. <laughs> Absolutely dominated Harris and Kays. I mean, Kays never pitched in the post. He actually, actually, he did in the first round. He didn't have to pitch in the, uh, in the championship series. I keep wanting to say the World Series because it's pretty much the World Series. But you get the point. My God. It's over. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Our name bouncing above or below that trophy or whatever the hell it is. It's literally just a guy diving. 